get all filled up, hooked up, get going, get up into the top box, and I gotta wait for a bloody train. You gotta love Port Edland, you really do. You gotta love it, I hate the joint. Nearly dawn. I'm looking east out towards um, Marble Bar from Port Edland. Um, and I just stopped to make some repairs. It's a bloody window. Uh, so it used to be, I couldn't get the window all the way up without sort of pushing on the on the on the screen on the window. I kept on dropping down all the time, and uh, wind kept on coming in there. It wasn't the wind I'm worried about. I'm gonna be on gravel road shortly, so it's gonna be the dust I'm worried about. So I went and got some tape out of the toolbox, and I've had to tape the window to the uh, frame to uh, stop it dropping down. <laughs> Uh, yep, this is a nine month old Western Star, and this is what I got to resort to to keep the damn thing dust proof. You know, this is probably going to turn out to be a really downer of an episode just because it's my food right now. So, um, so just to put you, uh, cows, man, cows everywhere. I can't believe it. It's not cows, it's something else. You know, I've seen three, oh, I've seen quite a few dead calves on the road lately. But in the last seven days, I've seen three cows standing over dead cows, on the, dead calves on the side of the road. They, they haven't been willing to sort of leave their dead calves behind. And they've just been standing there over their dead bodies. Make well, you feel sad. Because yeah. uh, there's no fences out here. So the livestock just roam everywhere. So. I don't know. I don't like hitting livestock, obviously. Apart from the fact that you're going to injure or kill the animal, I might also damage my truck. But, uh, and I do everything I can to avoid them, which includes slowing down at night, being extra vigilant, etc, etc. But I'm amazed at the number of dead animals on the road. I don't know if the guys just don't give a shit and slow down, but just don't see them, I don't know. Give me a ride, mate, long here if you want to go in the thong. Ah, I'll Texas Road have been pretty average, which means crap. Bunch of sharp rocks and everything sticking up everywhere. And I wouldn't surprise if I get one puncher, maybe two, on the way in. Let's see how we go. The truck should be alright. I've got you know, basically new rubber all the way around, so fingers crossed the truck will be alright. I might get a flat the trailers or the dollies or something. It's going to take me longer to get in than I thought it would. I've got two and a half hours to get in there to make my sort of like, I want to be in there by uh, midday. I think it's going to take all of that two and a half plus a bit. Good morning. I am westbound from the Marble Bar T-Road heading towards Port Hedland. And um, 
just before dawn. The fire up in front of me. Can't really make it out. Oh, this. Be able to make it. Uh, you might be able to make it out. Just the left of the white line there. There's no, that's a sign reflecting back at us. Um, I can see it easily enough. The fire up on the uh, left hand side of the road. A couple of k's up in front. Just a spin effects fire. I'd say. Um, I'm heading back to Perth. I've finished uh, out at Telfa and uh, pulled over for an eight hour break last night. I think I slept for half of it. I don't know what the hell's going on. I just can't sleep lately. So, I uh, dare say so I'll be pulling up for another sleep somewhere down the road. You can see it now on the camera. There's the um, fire and then there's smoke going up and then drifting across the road. So, it's been an interesting morning. I got going at about 4.30 this morning and there's some mine around here has decided it's a good idea to start operating on the same UHF channel as we do on the road. So we use channel 8 out here on this road. I don't know why they decided to start operating on our channel, but you just can't get fire. You just can't get minutes peace at the moment. I've had to turn the 2 out. Is there a fire? There we go. Well, the spin of X is going up nicely. It was worse coming out than it was going in, um, basically because I had bugger all weight on. Like a little bit of weight on the front trailer, maybe a ton and a half, maybe two ton. And I might have got the same. The second trailer and the third trailer was empty. And um, yeah, it was just going through the hills and that with the corrugations and on the flats with the corrugations I just had to take it so steady I honestly didn't, didn't have enough weight with, you know, with the, with the tow and drag the three trailers um, just had to take it so slow so steady it took me uh, probably an extra three quarters an hour to get out uh, than I did to get to actually get in there with a load, with a load of trailers so. anyway it's all done I'm heading home now turn around when I get home and come straight back out again but at least I'm heading the right direction. And once again southbound up through uh, Mungina Gorge. I'd like to get over and see the gorges in Karajini over to the west of us. gets in the way it gets in the way anyway it's up now so uh, oh yeah I've had a haircut so it's been a little while since I recorded that and recorded this see you later